and welcome to today's episode of Wellness Wednesday. I'm Dr. Katherine Y. Brown, your host. Today, I am so excited to introduce you to Mr. Alfonso Harvey. Welcome, Alfonso. Hey, how you doing, Dr. Katherine? How you doing today? Doing well, doing well. Excited to have you here with me so we can learn more about your work and your commitment to wellness. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Glad to be here. So for our viewers, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, your background personally and professionally? <clears throat> sure. So uh, name's Alfonso Harvey. I uh, came to Nashville uh, almost 30 years ago now to play football at Vanderbilt. Um, been a lover of this community and all of our local schools. I love my Vanderbilt Commodores, but I pull for everybody. Um, <laughs> I've been here working in a professional capacity, uh, first at UPS, and then I started my business about a decade ago. Um, and it's the parent company is Music City Med, but the brand that we are represented by mostly in the public is called Help to Moms. And we focus on providing supportive uh, medical equipment for expecting moms. Mm -hmm. um, and everything from a back brace to breast pumps, which mamas need. And we created a kit that, that really is beneficial to expecting moms. So very excited to be here and share a little bit about myself. Proud father, a husband and father of two boys that take my sleep. <laughs> okay, I love it. Okay, so you have to tell me the ages of the boys. Absolutely. So uh, my oldest is two years. He'll be three in October. And then we have a newborn who's six weeks old. So you are being honest when you say take your sleep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Full disclosure. We don't sleep. <laughs> Where are you from? You say you relocated here. Yeah. So I'm from Daytona Beach. Um had a lot of opportunity coming out of high school to choose where I wanted to be. And I chose uh, Vanderbilt in Nashville. It was the best school closest to home. Um, football was at the forefront initially, but um, thankfully we had three people from my neighborhood that were attending uh, Vanderbilt. Um, and that made a huge difference. So I got to go to college with some friends from home that made the familiarity happen, moving yeah. 11 hours away from home. And um, I fell in love with Nashville. Um, fantastic town, a lot of opportunities, and my professional life kept me here. Yeah. So you know, I'm very, a very proud Nashville. Okay, very good, very good. Now, I want to pivot. I want to stay on wellness, but I want to pivot to COVID-19. Sure. So how did you amplify wellness in Tennessee during COVID-19? And, and we say during so loosely because we're still in the pandemic, if you will, and now we got monkeypox on the way. So yeah. I'm really curious about your work in wellness throughout sure. the time. So initially, um, the business was focused on doing a lot of community outreach in 2018, 2017 where we would attend everything from a health fair to, to baby fairs to um, educate the community about our offering um, with Help to Moms. And, you know, you got to touch and feel a lot of people. I mean, you, you were amongst the people. Uh, that kind of led to our plan in 2019, well, 2020, of being in front of 50,000 people in a one-month span. And then March of 2020 happened. Everything went away yeah. and we had to make a very um, difficult choice of how we were going to move forward uh, with the business. So at that time, um, I had tinkered around with the Internet, but I had to learn digital strategy. Mm -hmm. I learned digital strategy. So in 20, 2019, from a, when we talk wellness, I talk about the moms we've reached. Um, to help them have a safer, more comfortable pregnancy. We reached 175 in 2019. And in 2020, when we got digital, we reached 1130 and we got better. We reached 5,021 and this year we'll, we, we reached in 21, we, we touched 17% of the Davidson County 
um, expected mom population, they became our client. So we're just going to keep growing and, and doing what we can uh, with our product offering, uh, which, which if I haven't clarified, we are a licensed black owned durable medical equipment company. Um, and we focus primarily on breast pumps for expecting moms. And then I developed a supportive kit. We call mm -hmm. it a pregnancy support kit. And that was developed because my wife was my original Patreon for the business. Mm -hmm. um, when she was expecting our first child, um, over the years, she had accumulated quite a few of the things that we, we provided to customers. And she just started pulling this stuff out the closet. And I just asked her one day, I said, well, why are you using that now? And she looked at me like I was my two-year-old and said, because it makes me feel better. And a light went off when we focused the business on expecting moms. And it, it has really been a very strong pivot. That's all we do. We, we, we want to help expecting moms mm -hmm. with the low back pain, the swollen legs and feet and the aches and pains overall. And um, it, it has been received well. So that as far as wellness, that's what we do. That I mean, we want you to have a safer, more comfortable pregnancy. And I love that you said safer because we know the mortality rates, right? Right. In the community and nationally. And it's an issue that's finally, um, I say, is finally getting the attention that it deserves. Are you seeing an increase in, you know, just more education and knowledge out there in the community? It, there, there is, um, there is a, a interest in more education. Uh, for us, I'm a, I'm a action oriented person. So, I, you know, when we, we talk about the mortality issues, we're talking about a lot of cases, blood loss, blood clots. Mm -hmm. And so we provide in our, in our pregnancy support kit, um, technically speaking, mechanical prophylaxis for a patient. Uh, some compression cuffs that they can use while they're at home, mm -hmm. you know, which are clinically shown when you use that in a baby aspirin, they're as effective as an anticoagulant. Mm -hmm. So uh, what struck me as odd was moms would, would have a C-section and they would be given these SCDs while they were in the hospital, but then they would go home and they would receive nothing. But the blood clots happen zero to three months after the baby's born. Mm -hmm. Right. And then for me, uh, what was really eye opening, my, my wife, we had our first and 37 and a half hours later, my son was born and they patted her stomach. And I said, I asked, well, what what are you doing that for? And they said, well, we're getting the blood clots out. And then they wheeled her to the room. And because she did not have a cesarean, they didn't give her any compression therapy. Well, we had a kit. So she put those on in the hospital. <laughs> I look. <laughs> yeah. Look, as they say, if you stay ready, you don't yeah, have to, you don't have to get, get ready. ready. So yeah. this is one. Okay, so now you're doing all this work um, mm -hmm. for the community, but during this pandemic time, you have a new baby, baby on the way. How did you manage your daily life? during the pandemic as a husband, a father, and an entrepreneur? So um, during this pandemic, um, I experienced COVID personally. And uh, I, honestly, there, there should be hundreds of billions of dollars thrown after long hauler research for COVID because this, this uh, virus is insidious. It affects people different ways. Um, I have um, no indications in my family of diabetes. Mom, dad, grandparents, none of them had it. And um, I had COVID. And I got, I got popped on a test where I said, hey, we need to address this. So for me during this time period, I made it a very, very serious, a very serious focus around my life is around wellness. Um, most people take nice lunches in the middle of the day. I go see my trainer. I work out three times a week and, and then I have, you know, equipment at home that, um, you know, for Peloton and, and, and things of that nature. Yes, Peloton. Pelotons are good. They're, they're a nice supplement to, to my <laughs> trainer workouts. Um, but I, I, I use those tools to help manage stress and also provide 
some cardiovascular and uh, anaerobic exercise, some fitness. So during this pandemic, I actually lost about 80 pounds um, just to get better. I mean, you know, life, it, it, it will never be what it was pre-pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, and we all need to be mindful of that, which is why we all got hand sanitizer and we got to <laughs> watch where we go and what we do and how we spend our time nowadays. That's right. Um, but but the wellness is extremely important to me. Even even to the point where my with my company, uh, for my full time staff, I pay one hundred percent of their health care. So I want to make sure that people are able to take care of themselves because you can do well and good at the same time. All right. So for our viewers at home, Mr. Harvey, I, I you have to rewind this because I really want people to hear what you said. All right. Here we go. Let's see if we. Husband, father, African American owned company yeah. pays 100% yeah. Yeah. of the insurance. Yeah. I life, dental, you know, supplemental life insurance policy. You know, I, I think, you know, people don't, you don't really think about aging until you're aged. Correct. I, I, I didn't think about it when I was 20. You know, my niece works here now and she's not thinking about health insurance, you know, and she doesn't have to because she's still on her parents. Mm -hmm. But for us adults, that's something that we should we should really think about when we're choosing an employer where we're going to spend our time. So I, I think that's important. I, re I really, really do. And as we grow, you know, who knows when I, when I buy an office building, I'm, I'll probably put a gym in there with the trainer because it's important. I mean, it's just. Health is truly well. You can have all the money in the world, but be in the ground. That's it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's right. You can't enjoy it. So I, I want to ask you this question, but I truly want you to, to answer it from the personal lens and the professional lens because you have such an amazing background and your values. You know how you don't have to ask people the words of their values. Your values come through by what you say and what you're doing. So sure. what are you looking forward to experiencing this year? Like, let's just say that because we're in, this is August 10th. Very so we're here. But when we think about this trajectory, what does this look like for you? Um, for me, it looks like um, we're letting the cat out the bag. We, we have functioned as a, a durable medical equipment company for almost 10 years. And we never led with that. We are black owned. We wanted our work to show and, and people to um, take us as we are. Uh, we don't hide. I mean, I'm in pictures, my wife's in pictures and, you know, things of that nature, but we want to, we want to continue to grow. Um, we're looking at um, expanding our footprint nationwide with some of our Medicare offerings. Mm -hmm. um, that we'll do outside of the, the our traditional focus as we've grown and, and got more uh, plan and network with more plans. Uh, we'll add more things, but I'm just excited about the business truly, truly growing further and, and being more helpful um, to the mothers in, in Tennessee and around the country. That's what I'm most excited about. Absolutely. Now, I know there are viewers everywhere right now, and they want to know how to get in touch with you. So give me all of it. I mean, social media, oh. handle, website, whatever you have, I want to <clears throat> I want to know how I can get help to moms. <laughs> well, that's 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 pretty straightforward. Go to help to moms dot com. That's uh -huh. help spelled like it's spelled T-O-M-O-M-S dot com. Our handle on IG is Help to Moms. Our Facebook page is Help to Moms. Um, it's all, all synonymous. We're not really on Twitter. Uh, but if you go to any of the, the, the big three with IG, with Facebook, and with our website, they're all Help to Moms or HelpToMoms.com. And we're um, open 24 hours on the internet. <laughs> 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 now are we gonna go here and we're gonna find this kit that they can order can order it online 24 hours a day yeah and and, and the thing with the kit is is we work with your physician 
Well, we work with your physician to fulfill an order because everything we provide needs a, a letter. Uh, we have a proprietary telehealth platform that we're fine tuning it right now that was up and running for a very long time. But we've, you know, with the changes and rules, we want to make sure that we're compliant. But right now we're <clears throat> due to t dutifully calling um, when people submit their information, we're getting that information back to their uh, primary care or their OBs um, to fulfill the orders. So that's that. I mean, that's what we do every day of the week. Um, we don't change. We just try to do our very, very best to help people and specifically in helping moms. Now, we'll say we do have one thing I am excited about. It's coming up. It's our annual Labor Day event, September 4th. Uh, we did this last year. Um, Tensil participated in it. We had about 900 moms that showed up. We're doing a community baby shower. And we, we partner with quite a few uh, local agencies that can provide all of the goods. Us being a Medicare provider, we can't, we can't really give stuff like that. But, you know, we can advertise an event that people can come to and mm -hmm. receive the aid. Because like I said, you can do well and good at the same time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love annual baby shower, help to moms, kiss, you name it. And he's having babies too. <laughs> All of that, all of the, all of that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to say thank you uh, for the work that you're doing, you. mothers, um, and the 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 gift of bringing life, right? Um, those bodies are going through something. I'm a mother of four, so I I I, I understand it, right? I I, I understand it. Um, <laughs> that look. <Wow. laughs> That's all I can say is wow. Yeah, but you know, to me, it is just so um, important that they get the care that they need. And what you are doing, you're you're preserving families because you're preserving lives. And if they can get the compression garments and other things, that's going to help them. So just thank you so much for all that you do. And for those watching, you know how to reach Mr. Alfonso Harvey. It's very simple. Help to moms. Hashtag help to moms. The, the other side, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> you <gotta> put... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But uh, help to mom. So please like this message, share this message, follow this page, uh, because there's someone in this community who needs to connect with Mr. Alfonso Harvey, and we want to get that um, get his information to them. Mr. Harvey, anything you want to say in closing before we end today's episode? No, th th this is great. Um, we we love Ten Care, so don't feel left out if you if you have Medicaid in Tennessee. Um, we're here to be healthy and have a, a wonderful team that supports this. And we do our very, very best to service all our clients uh, quickly. This business was created partially because when I, we had the first child, and I'll, and I'll let you go. We had our first child. We had people fighting over armbands to, to be there to support my wife. Um, you could have 10 people at that time. I was able to go home and get some sleep. As I'm walking out, I saw a young lady walking in with her grandmother, and I knew that's all the support she had. And I said, you know what? That isn't right. You know, so let's be supportive. Let's be helpful. It's a very special time. Um, fellas, spouses, be very, very patient uh, because this is <laughs> you bringing forth life. That's, that's not a small responsibility. So we're here to be helpful. That's why we're helpful. I love it. So they're here to be helpful and I want you to help them to help moms by sharing their information. So until next time, I am Dr. Catherine Y. Brown, your host, and you've just met Mr. Alfonso Harvey, who is in the community helping moms. Until next time, have a great day, everyone. Bye. <laughs>